Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. I just want to do a quick little video. Uh, I had to take one of my hives and reduce it down to a five frame nuke. It was a uh, 10 frame hive and it had a honey super on top of it. So they had 20 frames to play with, but the, you have a deep super and then a medium honey super on the top. And uh, I reduced it down to a five frame nuke right there the orange hive the the two box or two hive deep right there uh is the one that i put the video up on last time i'll probably throw in a short clip of a video i shot of that one of the one i put in the five frame nuke the reason why i didn't do a video on putting it in five frame nuke is because i got off a little bit later than I wanted to, and we got storms moving in again. It's rained pretty much all night long, all most of the day. The sun finally come out for a little bit today, but I got home in time to uh, put that in a five frame box or nuke, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm gonna probably roll a clip on that video I shot of that uh, inspection the other day right here. Let's see how that goes. The wind's actually coming from that direction, which is blowing right on the end of the camera, but that's the best we got. I'm gonna check this hive first. <laughs> These hives have not been into in probably since why it died. If I had to guess. Gonna be looking for is brood we're gonna look for larva eggs honey stores and pollen uh it's the sixth or eighth of february i'm not sure but uh let's see what we got Never really had issues with mice. This one's not looking too good. We just got a little cluster of bees. Let's see if I can move this right quick. We just got a little cluster of bees right there. They're not even in the top of the hive. Like I said, there's just a little cluster right there. Let's uh let's pop a couple frames, see what we got. These bees definitely need some uh some feed. I'm gonna put the camera in a different spot. That way we can see a little bit better. Can't really see what's on the screen, but y'all can see a little bit better right here. Let's see what we got. I might end up putting these in a smaller hive, like a five frame nuke or something like that. Because uh, they've got way too much space for them little bees that's in here. If I can get this frame out. Like I said, these haven't been in two in a while. Don't have anything on that. We've got nectar and a little bit of pollen on here. 
that being an outside frame, I'm not expecting to see any eggs or larvae on it. We do have brood on both sides. We have nectar across the top and along the sides. I don't know how good that's going to show up, but. Pop my glasses up for a minute. And we do have eggs and larvae. Like I said, I don't know how good that's going to show up, but we've got eggs and larvae in those cells. So I'm not that's as far as I'm going to go into this hive. There's no reason to tear it apart any more than what we got. Now, what we have right here, we got one, two, three, four, five frames right here. That's actually part of the hive. What I need to do is drop this down to a five frame nuke and that's probably what I'll do is get a five frame nuke and move them into it and the reason why you would do that I just broke that frame. The reason why you would do that is to uh, give them less room they have to defend. Before long it won't be long they'll be trying to Everybody be trying to build up and they could get robbed out because they're such a small, weak colony. Now what you can't see me doing off screen is I got to check this other box right here. See there's nothing on that. And all I'm doing pretty much is just uh, See, we got bees up here and there's a little bit of nectar in those uh, cells, but it's not worth trying to save that little bit of stuff. Plus we got a hive beetle. It's not really worth trying to save that little bit of nectar. Matter of fact, I'll shake it on the hive, which probably is not a big, a good idea, but that'll give them, they can clean it up and put it in the cells. I wouldn't regularly, regularly uh, recommend that but I did it so we'll see how it works out like I said the bees get up there and clean that off it's gonna be pretty again tomorrow just a little bit windy so they don't have plenty of time to clean that back up before it uh, cools off again cross comb bad and what I'm doing is just making sure that my queen's not on any of these frames hopefully because I just dumped a bunch of them on the ground they'll get up and fly back in but anyway what I'm going to do is take this box off just leave them with this right here and I'll probably try to get home in time tomorrow to put these in a little five frame nuke you got them climbing up my pants leg what I'll do tomorrow is I'll try to get over here and put them in a five frame nuke and what that'll do is uh, give them less space that they have to defend and it'll give them a better chance of surviving through the spring uh, that way they can just concentrate on the frames that they've got and uh, plus that five frame nuke's just got a little interest on it and that way they can uh, they can defend what they got and they can build back up and uh, come back stronger so uh, that's the inspection on that we had uh, nectar we had pollen we had eggs larvae and brood so we didn't look for the queen because we didn't really need to see her because we seen where she had been at so uh, that's it for that inspection. I'm just gonna put a center black block back on the top of this so I can get back into it early or quicker tomorrow. So hope y'all enjoyed that video. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. So I had a subscriber send me a message today 
on uh, YouTube, and then I ended up talking to him. But he has three hives, and two of them's busting it out the seams, and he's got one that the queen's quit laying in. Uh, first question I always ask is, can you find the queen? And he said, yes, the queen's in there, but she's not doing anything. So he's added over the past week or two, two frames of brood slash eggs and larva into that hive that's not doing anything and she still is not doing anything so the last time he added them he didn't shake the bees off of it and we both think that they killed the queen uh, in a situation like that there's not a whole lot of choices you've got especially this time of year you can always order a queen from hawaii is what they say but by the time she gets here and everything else, you'll have probably 50 bucks, if nothing, not more than that, in a queen. So if I'd have been in his place, I'd have done the same thing. So uh, if you ever run into that situation, try adding a couple frames of brood. I had a queen, this was during the summertime. She just said, screw it, I'm through laying eggs for now. And she went that way for probably a week or two, because I checked on her again, and uh, she just quit. So I added a frame of brood with eggs and larvae in there and that spurred her laying and she went to laying like her butt was on fire and did good for the rest of the year. So that's the thing about beekeeping. I mean, you got options. Uh, one thing that I'm always a big opponent or proponent of is uh, do what you think you need to do. I had a guy telling me the other day that I was smoking my bees wrong. If you don't want to smoke your bees the way I smoke my bees, don't do it. <laughs> That's the thing about my channel. It's not a my way or the highway beekeeping channel. I show you the way I do stuff. If you want to do it other ways, by all means, these are the ways that work for me. One of the big uh, things always is, is uh, delaying queen. I mean, delaying worker, how to deal with that. I've always had good uh, results with shaking them out. Some people say that doesn't work. Uh, and it might not for you, but it does for me. Uh, some people say, go ahead and put a queen in there with, in a cage. And I've heard people say that works, and I've heard people say that it doesn't work. So this is the thing about beekeeping. Do your research, figure out what you think you need to do, and do it. I mean, at the end of the day, those are your bees, and you do unto them as you please. Uh, so, but if y'all got any questions or anything like that, just uh, shoot me a message. Leave it in the comments below. I'm on uh, dfishman76 on uh, Facebook. You can send me a message on there. Uh, the subscriber, he also said something about hitting him up on Kick It, K I K, which is an app. Uh, I reckon it's just for messaging. Uh, so I set up a thing on that. If you're on Kick It and you want to send me a message, it's dfishman76 uh, on Kick It. K-I-K. -K. It's an app. I downloaded it. I got to play with it. See what it's all about. But I got a thing on there now. But anyway, I just want to do a short little video. Tell you about my little five frame nuke right there. Uh, I got another two frame hive over there that's doing good. The one that I've got over here, I've got two, three uh, double stack 10 frame boxes over here that are doing good. Uh, my bees that are back here behind us, I don't know if we can pick them up or not, but they're way back over this way. Uh, I haven't checked on them in the past two weeks, so I've got to do that. But the weather's fixing to turn crap here again. We're supposed to get rain in here tonight. It's in Tennessee right now, and it's going to move through here late tonight, early in the morning, and then supposed to move out. And it's, the sun's supposed to come out tomorrow, but I don't think the weather's going to be warm enough. I don't go in my hives if it's not above about 65, 70 degrees. That's just me. Some people go in them when it's 50 outside, but me, I'm, I'm a 65 to 70 degree weather fan. So, well, there you go. I just want to do a little quick little video. Uh, tell you about the subscribers question, you know, and what's the options on doing that. Uh, 
One of the things that he also said about that before I end this video is they never tried to build queen cells. So either the hive was thinking that she was doing an all right job or maybe they just know it's too early to try to build queen cells. I'm not sure. But uh, when I get to do some more hive inspections, our uh, red maples are blooming here and we've got dandelions growing in the yard which is our two main pollen and nectar sources right now. So uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, we'll have some drones coming out, which means it'll be time to get ready to uh, maybe getting some queens, doing some splits. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to uh, split all my hives this year and maybe make two or three more hives out of them. And we'll, of course we'll go over doing all that on, on here, so. Hope y'all doing good. Hope y'all's bees are doing good uh, and all that good stuff. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.